Welcome back. Well, you heard this uh, submissions about the processes for reconvening the House. Was that right or wrong? It was absolutely right. You, you recall that um, even at the national level, at the Senate and House of Representatives, there are times. I recall that there are specific, um, there's a number of days limited, you know, the lower trench where a legislative house must sit. Therefore, and for us, for us as Nigerians, we demand that they do their work maximally. So for someone to say that the house sits only on Tuesdays and Thursdays makes them very lazy people in their contemplation. But when there are issues and things to be done, you can convene the house every day, including a Sunday a legislative day. And when valid notices, like you asked, when the clerk issues notices on the orders of the speaker, what's the process of complaining against it? That question wasn't answered. Therefore, the Constitution gives room to the House of Assembly, through its leadership, to organize its affairs and it, to regulate its summoning and recess. So you cannot therefore say that a valid notice was sent. Okay, you even said public, um, public interest. The appropriation law uh, bill, the, the appropriation uh, proposal sent by the governor was to be read too on that day. Is that not public interest enough so that we can have a budget prepared before then? Now, even the birthday of His Excellency Architect Obong Victor, who was the first governor under this dispensation, who laid the foundation for the rebirth that Aquaibom is having, was on Tuesday. They adjourned to Tuesday being that day so that it would commemorate. That is his main birthday. So that the House of Assembly would be able to discuss those issues. Now, okay. on Friday, the federal government issued a statement making the Tuesday a public holiday. So the House now had to shift. You cannot be doing a commemorative birthday on a Wednesday after it would have passed. So they now shifted to Monday. That was the main reason of shifting to Monday, so that he could accommodate His Excellency, the, go uh, the former governor, celebrate him as it were, and also take the reading of the appropriation bill. And when the other paper was read on the day of that sitting, those two items were there. All right, so let's move a little faster now because of the time. In, in, in terms of the processes for reconvening the House, now isn't it true that the Speaker can reconvene the House through the clerk when he, when he deems fit? And isn't it also true that if the Speaker reconvenes the House through the clerk, he's got to be heard on the floor? And if you have any issues where the House be reconvened, it has to be done on the floor of the House. Okay. Uh, is that not true? Yeah. Take, uh, take for example, um, I went to the House. No, no. Right is that not true? That's not true. Which one is not true? Uh, that the Speaker the, cannot reconvene the House through the clerk when, it, when no, it's no, necessary? No, no. That the or, Speaker cannot go against the rules. You spoke about the Constitution. No, no, no. I asked the question. Yeah. I said, isn't it true? that the speaker reconvenes the house through the clerk who can give his reasons and if the members don't agree with the speaker in terms of the processes or why the house was reconvened it's got to be done on the floor no that cannot be done on the floor this is how it is done if the house will reconvene not in line with the standing rules of the house where is it raised where, you, where are the no, objections you to, raised you challenge whatever that was done on that day in the court what they in court, the court yes in the court yes this is how it is done because this, if the speaker reconvenes and you go to only complain, if you complain and the sitting continues, there's not much. No, can I, do. no, no. But I, I need to be sure you understand what I'm saying. I asking. understand what they are saying. If the Any speaker reconvenes the, the house, the orders of the house is infringed upon, a member has the right to seek the interpretation of that in the court of law. What will the Hello. court say? Yes, the court will now. Contrary, well, 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 well done. So the standing orders of the house. Yes. Uh, are binding on the are house. binding on the house yes. above the constitution. No, 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 no. The condition what recognizes is, what does the, the constitution no, 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 no. say about the how the house can convene? The condition recognizes that the house must set up a rules to guide itself and must stay within those rules. Yeah, but the Good. question I ask is, when the speaker reconvenes the house through the clerk, if any member or members are not, if they have objections. And I asked that, where did they raise it? And you said they have to go to court. No, you can raise it both in the floor and you can challenge it constitutionally. So that means now, you have to, that is you why I went. That first. is why I went to the sitting that day. I went to the sitting. I went. So that you means the process of reconvening the house was valid. Well, was I don't, it? You, you, are, no. you are turning okay. the interview. Okay, hold on. Like no, that. no. Mr. Etwen. You said Mr. something Etwen. here. No, 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 no. Was the process, come, hold on. Was the process, for, leave the reason first. Was the process valid? Not valid. How how is it, normally how does it you get notice? Uh, yes, notices is issued by the clerk to members for sitting. So who sends the notice? Who that, sends the notice this time? The real notices we only got a text on a Sunday. By who? By the clerk. By the clerk. And not okay. all the members. So, I didn't get mine. And you know the standing rules. If you send a text 
or maybe any you know, disease and all the members are not listed it is not valid because the standing order says every member must be invited now the way i said that the process was not valid was that it was not followed in line with the standing order validity and meetings are two things so are you challenging the can do a meeting that is not valid all right so are you challenging no, the convening of the house in court no 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 we've not come to that we'll still challenge that we will challenge that part no we're, we're, we're now talking about what happened on the floor because we would ask you about the process of reconvening the house. And you said, yes, you now said it can be challenged on the floor or in the court. In the court. And, and I'm asking. You didn't allow me to learn. I said, on the condition to go and rest on the floor, I went for that meeting. But at arriving at the house, I was attacked by the security aides of the speaker. You can look at me. I was attacked by two As you were SSS. going to the house, you were attacked by the house? Yes. As, as I was about entering, you know, there is a place you have to enter the plenary the door to the plenary. If you check the door, it was broken into pieces. Two SSS and seven policemen attacked me seriously. Why did they attack you? Because they were Be other members. Because they didn't want me to enter the sitting. Why you? I don't know. So that's the question. How many of you defected? Four or five? F uh, five of us defected. Because these notices were not sent. So I only got one of it. You know, earlier in the day, there was a protest in the house. And the police had returned all members to go back. I went, I was returned. Other members was returned. But okay. the speaker came in a full convoy, driving with full force, and hit the gate through. So uh, I got an information uh, that the speaker has just entered. So I rushed to go for the meeting. Okay. When I got when there, I was attacked by the security aides. I've already written to Inspector General of Police on this. Okay. The videos are there. Everything is Are clear. you privy to this information? Well, I, I'm aware. <laughs> it's really so, some things are very laughable. You know, we now have a house of comedy. You know, but the, the issue is this. That um, you can't as use a, that as name a, as the Kwagun State House of Assembly. As, Please, as I turn. implore that you would join. Just, just hang on. Let him just respond. You can't We're use that time. on the Kwagun State House of Assembly. As, as, at the time, as at the time he went for that um, for that sitting, he was no longer a member of the House of Assembly. Section 109 is self-executing. Uh, Section 109 says self the conditions to which someone, a, a, state mem a member of the State House of Assembly, will vacate his seat. It says one. One of the conditions is that if the person becomes a member of another legislative house, if it becomes, because you can't be a member of two legislative houses at the same time. So immediately you become, you lose the other one. Your seat is lost. Which no, no just, just hang on, hang on. We'll put in the Number question. two, we'll if the person becomes either a minister, a commissioner, a governor, you lose your seat. Then G of that section says, if the person defects from the party that sponsored him to the house. So it is immediately, it's consequential. Immediately you defect. He, the, the, the action of the speaker to declare now sub to say is that why he was attacked? I don't know whether he was attacked. I was he, attacked. He's only one. Those are facts. You no, know, it's just like saying the speaker drove in a commando manner. His national chairman is saying that no, the police aided and abetted aided the speaker. In. Okay. Now he's saying he drove in a commando manner. Now, but now what I'm saying is this: in section G, yeah. immediately you defect from the party other than that which sponsored you to the house. The you lose seat. your seat automatically. I mean, now section subsection two, subsection two of one hundred nine now tells the speaker now gives the speaker the opportunity to bring the information. So as that as that when the court judgment was given and the leadership of the House of Assembly gave indication of that obedience of that judgment, he was no longer a member. Okay, now the thing is this. Please, can I, if you can say I... that this is self-executing, yeah. and then you say that the Constitution 109 gives the Speaker the opportunity to bring it to the House, yeah. but here that also there were some comments that some members defected from, uh, One member. from APC mm. to PDP, PDP last year. In this, the same house. This didn't happen. No, because and that, executing. And that the laws, mm. there is no, they, they wonder, where, how did you come across about saying this it's is self-executing? Self because there are procedures and there has to be a declaration. Please, Processes have I would to love happen. to know. No, 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 you answer, then you come in. Briefly. Now, quickly. When you read 109, you discover why it is self-executing. When the conditions or the exceptions to which that cannot execute itself is where the person cites the issue of faction in his party, crisis in his party, or sites major. Now, to that extent, when you cite that, it becomes a matter for the court to judge. He cited that and took the matter to court, and the court gave judgment against him. I don't know. That is why the speaker didn't declare his seat vacant. But when the person from APC defected to PDP, nobody took it to court. If someone had taken it to court and the court declared his seat vacant, the speaker would have okay. had no discretion whatsoever. Let's come in, then. 